Hey guys, it's Tracy with the Schilling family. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Doing this video alone today. Zach is taking a nap and Matt and Sydney are out running errands. I promise you will see them in future videos, but I wanted to talk to you guys today about couponing and I'm taking advantage of the silence in the house. Um, if you are not couponing, you are missing out on a ton of great deals. So I really it, highly recommend that you get into couponing. And I think after watching this video and me showing you how you can maximize your savings, it might prompt a lot of you to, uh, to start cutting out coupons on Sunday morning. Um, I go to Publix a lot. I really like shopping at Publix. And Publix will allow you to stack coupons. What I mean by stacking coupons, Publix puts out a store coupon. You can usually get that. Sometimes it comes in, in the mail to me, um, but you can always walk into Publix and pick up their coupon flyer. It's usually at the entrance. If you don't see one, go ask customer service. But what I mean about um, stacking, Publix has a $2 off Zyrtec, excluding Zyrtec D, and I have a manufacturer's coupon for $4 off any Zyrtec. I can go into Publix and pick up Zyrtec, and get six dollars off they will stack these two coupons to maximize your savings okay um, make sure you're reading the fine print on your coupons if you're gonna go in and use these coupons and you want Zyrtec D you're only gonna be able to use this one because this one says four dollars off any this one clearly says excluding Zyrtec D so make sure you're reading the fine print on all your coupons you don't want to get up to checkout and not understand why you can't use a certain coupon but um, like I said, this can really maximize your saving, this stacking coupons. Like I said, $6 off Zyrtec is a huge savings. I also like um, my Publix, or, well, any Publix in general, because they will accept competitors' coupons. Now, my um, Publix accepts Target coupons, which most of the time I have to print out, or Winn-Dixie coupons. Check with your Publix to find out. I know there's a Publix in Mandarin that will accept Whole Food and Trader Joe's coupons as well. But we don't have any of those um, out here where I live, so obviously I can't use those coupons. But um, most Publix, actually all Publixes have huge signs hanging in their entrance saying what competitor coupons they will accept. But you can always give them a call and ask and uh, double check. But getting on to my savings, um, basically what I did this week is I went online and I looked at Publix ads. They do a lot of really good buy one get one free deals every week. So I went to Publix. And let's see if you can see it. I spent $18.94, but I saved $34.82. And that is a huge savings. I spent, I bought 17 items, so that comes out to be about $1.11 an item. That is a huge savings. Um, and I did it all just using coupons, and then I had a competitor coupon from Winn Dixie. It was $5 off of $30. So I was able to use that and really maximize my savings. Um, I also like Publix, they participate in the You Promise program. And if you have kids, little kids, or really any age kids that you're thinking might end up going to college, you can go to their customer service desk and request a You Promise card. It's a key tag or like a just like a regular card that you can put in your wallet. And you hand that to the cashier when you go to check out. She'll swipe it and there are participating products in the store that will give you a percentage back on your card to put towards your, your child's uh, college education. Last year alone we had $66 in, in Sydney's account for the year um, and she can use that when she goes to college. So you can Google You Promise to get more information about their program and it's just another way to maximize your savings on things that you buy every day. So um, I'm also going to be doing a written blog about this. That will be posted on the Vistar page. That way if you have, if you just want to go back and, and kind of see what I mean about the savings, it will be down there. Um, you can always contact us on our public Facebook page and ask any questions about anything that is going on, and we'd be more than happy to answer your questions. The other store that I really enjoy going to that I save a ton of money at with toiletries and things like that is CVS. If you are not shopping at CVS, you are missing out on a ton of good deals. Um, I went to CVS this week. I bought two bottles of two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, and I bought a pack of razors. I spent $8.46. I had two coupons. I had a $3 off coupon, and then I had to buy one, get one free for the shampoo, so that took $3.48 off. 
and the shampoo was also on sale this week. But CVS has their own program. It's called um, Extra Care Bucks. So I spent that eight forty six, but I got three dollars in extra buck rewards. This is like free cash to use at CVS. I can go back to CVS tomorrow and walk in the door and use manufacturer's coupons and hand the cashier these and it'll take three dollars off my bill. So if you're not doing this, you need to do it. You need to go into CVS and tell them that you want to be a extra care card member and they will sign you up. You will get a key tag and you also get another little swipey card to use. The other thing I like about CVS is they also run a program called the green bag tag. Now these you have to buy and I think they're like 99 cents. But basically you buy one of these and you put it on your reusable shopping bag at CVS and every fifth scan you will get one of these a dollar off just for not using plastic bags and helping the environment. So you're doing two good things. You're not wasting plastic and you're getting more savings back. Who does not want free money to use at CVS? It's you're you're wasting you're wasting it if you're not using it. You really need to do it. Um, with the extra care bucks, the one thing is is check their ad. Every Sunday they put in a new ad. They will tell you right in the ad which items are qualified for extra care bucks, which ones you'll get back. The extra care bucks that I got back, it was for the shampoo and the uh, the razors. That's what it was this week. But you can use manufacturer's coupons on those and you'll still get these. Also, they have a machine when you go into the store that you can scan your, your key tag at and it'll print out CVS coupons. You can stack their coupons with manufacturer coupons. Again, if you're not doing it, you, you're missing out on some really great deals. I Again, I'll put this all in my uh, blog on the Vistar page so you can go back through this. If you guys ever, ever, ever have any questions about anything that I've brought up in any of the video blogs, please post them on our page. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, I really hope that by watching this video, you guys are going to start taking advantage of all the great deals you can get with coupons. And um, just make sure you like our page. Continue to follow our progress. We're in mid-May, and I feel like we're really doing good. November is going to be here before we know it. So again, um, I thank you guys for following us, and I hope you're learning a lot with us. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks again.